insouciant long pigs, it is me, Sam of SG1, your humble host, coming at you for a uh, a different video. Yes, it's a it's a um, a response, a video response to um, the man, the lead that is Ed. Um, you may know him as Bumble Jumper eighty two, but Mr. Edward Jewell yes, um, did a video about what was your first Transformer. Let's delve into it. Let's tell. Let, let, let me tell you a tale of long ago. Yes, the year would have been 1986, I want to say. Um, it would have been my sixth birthday. And a minute. It would be my seventh birthday. Um, because remember back in the UK, we didn't get a lot of the stuff. No, I'd been 85, so I'd have been six. Yes, that's right, 85. And um, the very first Transformer I ever got was off my mum and dad, and I got this fella. This is Generation 1 Swerve. Uh, I haven't reviewed this guy yet, have I? Um, yeah, I got him back in the day. Sadly, this is not my original one I had. That vanished into the ether. Um, but this was the very first one I ever got. And um, funnily enough, back in about 96 or 97 maybe, my mum was perusing the charity shops, which she used to do, which um, and she found this guy for 50 pence and then he's still in fantastic condition he's still got all the stickers and that on him um and she goes oh, i found a transformer in the charity shop today i was like oh yeah uh, i think i came home from college and she threw it at me she went yeah i tossed it at me and then i was like oh my god swerve and she went yeah she went did i get you that when i when you were when you were real little i went yeah you did so and this is the one she found in the charity shop which is good so has the rub sign on it uh, which I think works. Let's just double, double check that. Um, no, I don't think it does actually. Let's just double check. No, it doesn't. I don't think it works, does it? No, sadly that doesn't work, but it's there. Anyway, and you transform him. You go boom, boom, and ba boom. And there he is in robot mode. And there is little face there. Not very coloured in. The reissue of this um, has the eyes painted um but yeah this is a uh, an original bad boy g1 swear one of my f the, the very first transformer i ever owned and started me on the journey that i'm still on at 41 years old now back in when we were kids we used to call these small transformers and then we had what we called big transformers which we, 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 we which what we would call um a deluxe is today and the very first one i ever got the big transform i wanted jazz um i don't know exactly uh so i've gone full metal today i've been listening to uh, a lot of ramstein today um yes uh well, i've been playing video games because that's what I want, that's what i do normally but anyway um especially during this fucking lockdown which i'm getting tired of now by the way but anyway um I, d I can't remember the circumstances as such but my mum came into some money somehow. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money. I think it was about 100 quid. I mean, 100 quid back in the, the mid-80s was a lot of money. Uh, I think she either won it playing bingo or... She either got given it or something. And um, I think I think she won it playing bingo. I don't know. I can't, re can't quite remember the circumstances. But anyway, she had this extra money. And I remember she dropped me off at my dad's... Um, he used to work in a car showroom, showroom in Ghoul. Happy driver, to be precise. And um, anyway, my mum and my sister went off shopping. Anyway, they come back. I said, I want, she goes, I said, will you get me a Transformer? She went, yeah, which one? Jazz, if you can. But she didn't, because she couldn't find it. But she did bring back this fella. This is Generation 1 Inferno. Now, this is the reissue. Sadly, again, my Inferno vanished into the ether. And I haven't got these accessories because I put away at the moment, because I'm just moving things around and I've put them all. Uh, in a box, uh, I'm not going to uh, attach him all up with his accessories, but yeah, Inferno holds a very special place, is because the circumstances behind it, and the fact that my sister held it up like this, you know, um, in the box, and I come running to meet it, and I remember getting out of the box, transforming it there in my dad's office, with all his workmates looking at it, going, well, how do you do it, and how, do, how does it work, and how, you know, and... I think I can't remember if I reviewed this guy or not. Um, 
Yeah, so Inferno holds a very special place for me. Um, he's cool, Inferno. Who doesn't like Inferno? Uh, we transform him thus. You just separate that, pull all that down, pull that down, move them, move them out. Now these have got a contention as well. Now these, either you do that or you do that, they move. I tend to do that in vehicle mode, just gives it an extra transformation step. Um, and then you rotate his head round, and then you pull that down, rotate that down. And it does extend, yeah, it's extendable, the extendables. Now this is the reissue, and you can tell this is the reissue, is because I have an original grapple, and grapple seems to weigh more. I don't know if it's just because of the crane, but it seems to weigh more. And you can tell this is a reissue because you've got blue eyes. The original, if I remember right, they just had silver eyes. Um, but yeah, it just it, there's something about Inferno that always grabs me. I still don't have the masterpiece yet, I need to get the masterpiece. Um, yeah, you put on, on his arms there, these little holes, you put like, these these weird wings there and he's got hands and he's got guns and he's got rocket launchers in his hands and all that um but he, 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 there's something about him that's that's special to me he, i think like i say it's because it was the, one of the first sorry my screensaver is about to go um yeah so i got he was my very first ever transformer and he was my first ever um big transformer as we called them back in the day um yeah so um yeah so they just have you just have some both of these have will always if i had to sell everything the ones i'd keep is almost out with obviously my scorpionock my black zarak and these two if i had to if i had to sell everything these are the ones i would keep because they hold sentimental value to me um you know what i mean so it, it it's like I say it's very I'm I'm glad Ed you made this video because I never thought about it like that before. I mean I've obviously thought about it before, but I mean I never thought about doing a video about it before. Um, yeah, this some sort of drudge back some memories because I remember that Christmas. Was it my birthday? I can't remember if it was my birthday when I got this. It's a long time ago. I've had a drink since then. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, because that Christmas I got both Metroplex and Omega Supreme. Oh no, no, Ultra Magnus I got. I went to Optimus Prime, I couldn't find it. I got Ultra Magnus. The following Christmas I got um, Metroplex and Omega Supreme. And maybe a couple of others. Maybe Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, I think, as well. Um, yeah, so. So yeah, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's me, that's this video. Thanks, Ed, for doing this. Um, I'm going to come up with a uh, a question. I'll have to think about it. But um, this is very very much off the cuff, as you know. That's what I tend to do in these videos. Off the cuff. And, um, you know. But sometimes they're the best ones, aren't they? The off the cuff ones. So, yeah. So, um, why not support me on Patreon? I've got some cool rewards over there. Um, it keeps the lights on at Shea's Throws. And... Uh, brings you bigger and better qual quality of uh, reviews. Check out my uh, playlist, should be down here somewhere. Uh, I've got some other cool stuff, uh, videos and stuff going on. And why not like, hit that like button, helps this channel out, and um, subscribe. Um, I'm 600, and, at this at time of recording, I'm 665 um, subscribers, but for some reason, it keeps going up and down. It's weird, but excuse me. So yeah, um, if I can get a thousand subscribers, that'd be great. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button, and and I will catch you all very soon. So that's um, Swerve, and that's Inferno. Bidding you adieu, and I'll catch you very soon. Adios.